Up next, we've got a wonderful interview with Aaron Kipfer with Neody, which is a prominent player in the AV industry specializing in the design, design manufacturing and installation of high quality LED solutions. So thank you so much, Aaron, for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you. How are you enjoying the first official day of Infocom on the show floor? It's been great so far, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, you'll definitely get your steps in here. So. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So your company has been around and well established in the in the broadcast industry for over 20 years. And can you just share some examples with our audience um, about some noteworthy installations that you guys are really proud of and how the trend of needs have changed over over the years? Sure. I mean, in the broadcast space, a lot of it revolves around on-camera performance. And so that has always been our bread and butter, making sure that the LED products that we produce are performing well on camera. So you don't see the moray effect when you don't need to. You don't see scan lines and things of that nature. And the way that it's changed has been tremendous because five, six, eight, ten years ago, we were seeing pixel pitches of five millimeter and six millimeter and things that you really couldn't even put on camera at the time because it wasn't high enough resolution to keep the moray effect at bay. So we've seen a lot of changes in the industry for sure, especially in the broadcast space. Wonderful. Fantastic. And I know that you guys made a big announcement back in mm -hmm. April, I think it was, about Pantone. I'd love for you to recap that for our viewers, if you wouldn't mind. Sure, sure. Yeah, we are the first and only currently Pantone validated direct view LED display. Um, which means that we can faithfully reproduce colors um, at any brightness level um, in any color, Pantone color that's necessary. So for Coca-Cola or John Deere or T-Mobile or Verizon, those that have Pantone colors that are specific to their organization, um, we can faithfully reproduce that on LED screens, it, which is a first in, of its kind. So. That's, um, that's a pretty yeah. big deal, right? It is, very big deal. Yeah, yeah that's incredible. Congratulations on Absolutely. that. Thank you. And for those may, who may not be really familiar with the Pantone, sure. can you go into that a little bit more? Yeah, so Pantone is the world's foremost color authority. So they've created thousands of colors um, for their Pantone color book and as well as a Pantone skin tone color book which allows us to faithfully reproduce colors for skin tones where they've actually measured skin tones across the country or across the world rather and um, produce different color swatches for those specific skin tones and so by being able to be validated in both the Pantone colors and the skin tones colors somebody knows that when they have our LED display that those colors will be faithfully reproduced the exact way that the designers made them. Oh, well that's so really, really great yeah, technology. So really sort of like yeah, it, br brings it, it brings a sense circle. of confidence as well for, you, for your customers and all that kind of thing. Yes, too. wonderful. Exactly. So can you tell us a little bit about the technology behind the LED panels and control platform being so seamlessly interoperable? I know that that's something that you guys have really been working on. Sure, especially with our Pantone series that is uh, validated, we actually produced a proprietary control system and the LED together. Um, when you produce one or the other, you can obviously run into roadblocks where the control manufacturer is manufacturing what they need to manufacture, and the LED manufacturer is manufacturing what they need to manufacture. But what we've done is we've combined those two, so we're actually taking control of making the controller and the LED product as one. And by doing that, we can take full um, we can take full advantage of all of the suppliers who are providing us, like the IC chips the diodes, all the other components that make up the complete system. We can take advantage of all of the performance throughout the entire system, which allows us then to be become Pantone validated and actually prove to the world that we can produce what we say we can produce. Good stuff. One thing I found out about NeoT panels, which I, th I thought was very interesting, is that you use horizontal scan lines as opposed to vertical. Wh why is that so important? And, and what's the kind of reasoning behind that? Sure. Well. The horizontal scan lines actually means that when you're scanning your eyes left and right while you're looking at an LED display, you're not going to pick up on the vertical scan lines that are most LEDs produce. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of times, if the refresh rate is high enough, you're not going to pick them up. But over time, as you're staring at an LED space, say for instance in a control room environment or an emergency services environment where you're s someone is looking at that screen all day long, as they track their eyes back and forth looking at the display, they're actually going to 
uh, unaware pick up all of those scan lines and it actually causes eye fatigue. So almost like the eyes are sort of like subconsciously uh, registering that the, the scan is coming down. Correct. It's, it's trying to go across but it's pulling the site down. Correct. Downwards. And as right. you look at displays that have a much lower um, refresh rate, it's much more prominent. So especially like outdoor displays and stadiums and things of that nature, if you scan your eyes back and forth, your eyes will actually pick up black vertical lines. Okay. Um, and if you're looking at that all day long, as you can imagine, it really produces some, some, some heavy eye fatigue and some strain on your brain just picking up all those lines all the time. So what we've done to combat that is create most of our products with horizontal scan lines to allow for the eyes not to pick up that as they're tracking back and forth. Wow. And I suppose, well, it helps because you were saying in an environment where the refresh rate is super high, for short periods of time, it's, it's okay, it just doesn't cause much. Yeah. But I suppose it means that in, in environments where the refresh rate isn't high, it at least alleviates that over yes. long periods of time as well. So, so it kind of gives people more flexibility. Exactly, exactly, so yeah. Definitely innovative. Um, so you've also developed a unique color space engine. I know that we talked a little bit mm -hmm. about that on a previous call, but we would love to hear more about it and how it improves the performance and experience of your products. That would be great. Sure. Well, our color space engine allows you to work in a color space. So if you're a designer and you're working on a calibrated monitor and you're doing all of your design work in a specific color space, so sRGB or any of the others, um, they're actually seeing colors the way that they want them to be produced. What's happened with DirectView LED is that then we will move that file to a DirectView LED display player and see it on the screen and the colors are not the same as what they've been staring at for you know so long. And so that's, it goes along with the Pantone validation, it all kind of works together. But our color space engine allows you to take whatever profile that you create a product in, put that same profile in our LED controller and that same color will look the same on their monitor and the LED display at the same time. Absolutely. Nice. And in terms of, we, we always like to ask our guests this because obviously we're on the show floor. It's the first day of the show, things are just getting kicked off. In terms of looking forward, if you can, to the end of the show and Friday sure. afternoon, what does a successful show for a NEOT look like? What are you hoping to achieve here? What conversations are you looking to have? Sure. What, what's the aim? Well, the easy answer is that my feet don't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but if that, hap if that happens, then th what we're actually looking for out of the show is just being, bring more awareness to the fact that LED is LED. There, if you look around, there are thousands of LED displays in this hall alone. Mm -hmm. And so what we want people to understand is that what's being displayed on the LED is more important than the actual technology itself. Um, and obviously it all goes hand in hand. The technology is what produces what's displayed on the display. But if we can get across the fact that what you're seeing with your eyes is the most important part of LED, that's what will be successful for us. Excellent. Fantastic. And if people want to continue this conversation with you, can they find you on LinkedIn? They can come stop by the booth. What, what's the best way for them they to can, do that? They can, yeah. Our booth is W907, so you can stop by and see us. You can go to our website, neodi.com, or LinkedIn, or any other social media that you use. Fantastic. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much indeed for joining us today. Thank you. It's been an absolute thank pleasure. You. And you said you want to make sure your feet don't hurt, but I've seen some pretty nice sneakers you've yeah. got on. They, <laughs> they, they like look pretty fresh. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> this is like the, the year of like the cool sneakers. And yeah, stuff. yeah. I we gotta, had our guests yeah. yesterday. They were the sneaker heads and they had the nice things on it. Yeah. I hope you've broken them in though. Yes. They yeah. look, they're quite <laughs> fresh. Yeah. For sure. Okay, good. <laughs> thank you so thank much, you. Aaron, for, thank for you having me. me.